Welcome to the testing word. So now in this session, we are going to create a base class. Here we are going to define a methods which are required to create WebDriver instance. And also we are going to drop WebDriver instance. So as we know, before each and every test case, we need to start browser. We need to enter URL for doing the task. We are going to create one method. And at the end of the test case, I want to close the browser for doing the task. I'm going to create one more method. And these two methods will be in the base class. Moving to Eclipse. Here I'm going to create a package with the name org.automation.testingword.base. You can give any name to the package. I'm just taking my names. Creating a class over here with the create driver instance or we can just give the name driver instance here in this class i'm going to create a method with the name initiate driver instance and we are going to have one method with the name public void close driver instance now as we know if you are working on a web driver then we need we need driver plugin exe file so first of all i'm just creating one folder inside the project with the name driver here i'm going to maintain all the exe files how to do that so i already downloaded these files that's the exe file i just copy for the chrome driver and paste it in this driver folder and same for same for Gigo driver so i just copy these files from my system and place in this driver folder now i want to create web driver object so to create the web driver object we are writing the code like web driver driver new chrome driver but here i'm creating the object of the chrome driver here i want to make it flexible means i will read the data of the browser name from the config file and on the behalf of that we'll create the driver object so what we are going to do i'm just taking this left part and putting it outside the method and making it public so the child class can be can use as well in future and now here i want to handle the condition like i will read the data from the config file what is the browser name and accordingly i'll create the driver object or i'll say the driver instance so if i want to read data from the config file so in previous session we have seen we have already created a method inside the utility class to fetch the property value so what i'm doing if utility dot fetch property value which property value you want to fetch i want to fetch browser name if this browser name is and i'm giving is it equal to the chrome it is going to return an object because we have seen here it is going to return an object I need to take this object to the string format so I'm using dot to a string and then I'm comparing with what I expect so then I'm comparing equals ignore case if it is Chrome means if user mentioned Chrome over there then I need to create Chrome driver object and it is asking for exception handling so i'm just mentioning throws exception now what we are doing we are reading the data from the property file by using the utility fetch property value method we are converting the data to the string format because that was a object only and then we are comparing with the chrome if it is chrome then create chrome driver object in the same way I can write like this 
so if browser name if the browser is firefox then create firefox driver object and same for the i i can do so else if if the browser name is ie then create the instance of internet explorer driver and at the last if any incorrect value is given by the user so in else i'm saying i'll create the chrome driver object so if chrome is mentioned in the property file it will create a chrome driver object if firefox is mentioned it will create a firefox driver object if i mention it will create a i driver object and if nothing is mentioned or incorrect value is mentioned it's going to create chrome driver object now as we know before creating each and every object we need to mention system.set property so system.set property and for chrome driver we are mentioning web driver dot chrome dot driver and path of the txt file is my project so dot forward slash is the project uh, we have a folder with the name driver and inside the driver it's a chrome driver dot exe same code we can copy and write it here because in else we are also creating the chrome driver object uh, here we are going to create firefox driver object so we need to give path of the geeko driver so g-e-c-k-o geeko driver dot exe and the key here is web driver dot geeko dot driver same we can write for i so web driver dot ie dot driver and here internet explorer driver dot exe so whatever exe of ie you can give the name over here is i don't have any internet driver exe as of now i'm going to execute my test case on the chrome and firefox if you need that you can place that file here and just give the path everything is done once the driver instance is created open url so driver.get and you need to pass url over here if you remember we are picking the url from this config file and for picking the data from the config file we have already seen this so i'm just writing utility.fetch property value which property value you want to fetch I'm just passing the key name this so it will pick the value from property file and I'm converting into the string format because there it is returning object we know that my utility method is going to return object so I'm just converting into the string so now initiate driver method is created and it is handling all the possible conditions in the same way if you want to close the driver i can use driver dot quit i'm going to execute these test cases by using test ng and whatever the code you want to execute before your test case in test ng i'm going to use before method annotation so this driver instance i'm going to create before the test case i have used before method annotation and here after the test case so i'm using after method annotation so after the test case is executed this after method will run and it will close the browser also we have seen whatever the driver object that we have created we made it public and outside the method so it's a class member and can be used in a complete class also if it is a public means it can be used on other packages as well so i'll show you when we are going to create test cases we are going to use this driver objects and these test cases would be in a different packages so i made it public everything is done and we have created our base class and here we have seen we are using utility class utility methods wherever required as of now we have only one utility method which is going to pick data from the property file so 
we have covered this how to create base classes in next session i'll move to the page object model that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india